And when you say, uh, you know, you advise people about how to change your relationship with food, uh, what does that mean? How, how do I interpret that? You see, food is the most powerful non-prescriptive antidepressant today. And we are designed, our body is designed to eat as much sweet, salt and fat. Because this is where the energy comes from. And if you're deprived of glucose, you could faint. You could, And if you're deprived of salt, you could have an electrolyte imbalance. And fat is a very important part in your diet. However, when our body was designed at that time, getting all these three things was quite scarce and you need to work a lot to consume these kind of these three things but today by sitting and pressing some buttons in your phone it comes on your tabletop what to eat and how much ever you want it so it's it's today more people are having food for entertainment reasons rather than energy reasons for the energy reasons and and in order to change that from entertainment to real energy reasons a lot of emotional well-being also has to happen. So if I'm uh, sugar or salty food or fried food, it gives a lot of comfort or emotional comfort to people. And when I'm stressed, maybe let's go and eat some sweet. It will help me feel good. So it, it, And it's natural because uh, when you eat this, it gives you energy and our ancient brain and nervous system it is designed in a way when you are stressed you need more energy so when you consume food you have more energy to deal with it so that's how and also brain is a very energy draining organ it it consumes a lot of your energy uh, so that you know all the information is passed through the nervous system to different muscles and different organs of the body so that every time you get stressed the tendency to consume heavy food is quite high that's how we are wired for and nature, on one hand, it has designed our body to live in scarcity. But on the other hand, we are also wired to be fat. So we have to fight our genetics. In today's uh, technological advances where you know, heavy, rich in sugary food is so much in abundance. So we have to fight that genetic gravity to live healthy. So it comes with a lot of self-discipline. And that self-discipline comes with emotional well-being. So that's where this concept comes.